click on remedy it for this es excel host baseline we already selected and expand the window the upgrade what is it is going to upgrade expand that that ESXS 6.0 update 3. Okay, that what that is what we created image baseline. Click finish. This ESX host now is going to upgrade from 5.5 to 6.0. That's the remediation is going to in place. What it is going to do is during the remediation, that update manager puts that ESX host into maintenance mode. If you see the icon representation here, it is show see here. It is that maintenance mode. If you right click on ESXi host one, right click on ESXi host one. Whenever you are going to perform a maintenance mode, what we are going to do, we need to make sure that ESXi host in into maintenance mode. Either we can do put that ESXi host in manual enter enter maintenance mode, or else that update manager it is going to try. Try to migrate all VMs available on that ESXi host. Migrate the ESXi host to another ESXi host and put that ESXi host in maintenance mode. Okay, that's what the simple representation. If you see, right click on that ESXi host three, right click on ESXi host three. What action is there? Exit maintenance mode. So you can see the simple representation. How it is simple. Previously is the enter maintenance mode. Now it is exit maintenance mode. As at the present, at present we cannot put this exit maintenance mode because the patch installation is happening that ESX host. That's the reason it is showing that. See, close this. We can open place. Now see the update manager. What is the build number? What is the build number? If the upgrade manager is completed and removed the maintenance mode and it back to the normal see the scan results what is the compliance for esxi host 3 esxi host 3 is compliant what are the patches we attached everything it is showing green okay under the next compliant window it is showing complete green circle that esxi host is compliant installed all patches on the esxi host so it is showing this now go to esxi browser and esxi build versions Open ESX build number. Come back to six, uh, six, select six, and see what is the latest build number available. See what is the latest build number? One five double one double five one seven five four eight. That is the latest build number. What are the patch we completed the installation? Check that ESX host. What is the build number? See that ESX build number. That in the sense that ESX host is updated with the latest patches, all available patches from the vendor. Okay, this is how we are going to perform updates on ESX host by using update manager. Okay, the similar way we can perform all ESX host within the environment on timely manner. We need to make sure update the ESX host. There are two ways are available. Either we can use update manager. If you want, you can perform offline also. Offline in the sense we need to download the patch and copy that patch file to the data store, local data store, and we need to connect SSH and then execute that command. What is the command syntax? Everything is available in the website vmwarekb.vmware.com. Okay no issues we even you are not sure what to type and what to do everything will be there as per steps okay now one more important thing is that there is a desktop go to configuration for this esx host configuration
storage. Okay. Have you created this particular uh, case storage for this server? Oh. Good. Have you created added? Oh, no. This storage is a SCSI target. Uh, uh, yeah, yeah. Now go to storage adapters. Add SCSI adapter. Click on add. Configure this SCSI adapter. Okay. Go to configure properties dynamic discovery enter IP address add forty one or forty two. Close. Yes. Go to stories. Okay, cool. Now the desktop one is there, right? Yes. Where this desktop one? Edit settings. Is it a shared storage? Okay, cool. Cancel. Now we see here what I am going to showcase here. This VMware tool is updated on this particular desktop one. Go to summary. Uh, try to migrate this VM. Currently, VMware tools are up to date. It's showing as a green. Now, what I'm going to do is I'll move this desktop one from ESX current place to Three. What I did, what is the difference between ESX1 and 3? ESX1 is running with update 2, old version. And update ESX3 is currently updated to latest patches. All patches were installed and are running with the latest update. If I migrate this particular VM, where it is currently running, on lower version it is running. But tools are up to date for that particular version. If I migrate this desktop one from current place that is ESXi host 2 to ESXi 3, what it is going to show this VMware tools. Let's migrate this. Right click migrate and choose ESX3. Choose host. Change host. I'm performing offline vMotion. It is not in a power on state. What it is going to do, offline migration, it is going to just remap. Just click next. Select ESXR host. Three. Is it compatible or not? Let's see. Because it is in power of state, definitely it is not going to check CPU compatibility or anything. Okay. Click next. Finish. As soon as it is migrated and we'll see what is the VMware tools it is going to show here. Okay, because VMware tools, as soon as we upgrade the ESXi host to latest patches level, what it is going to the VMware tools version also is going to update. Okay, so 
currently it is currently up to date see now it is showing yellow mark that in the sense out of date the virtualization layer from old version to increase to latest version according to what are the patches we are going to install on ESX host according to that the drivers are going to update for the virtual mission whenever you complete the ESX host upgrade or update what we need to make sure we need to make sure install VMA tools update VM version update on the respective virtual missions see here previously it is showing up to date current now it is showing out of date that in the sense the virtualization layer that is VM is migrated from lower version to higher version according to higher version the tools are latest tools are available that's the reason the particular VM it is showing out of date of VMware tools how to perform I can perform this tools update through the update manager as well how to do that okay we'll go to VM and templates VM and templates select desktop one now tools are out of date now i'm by using update manager i'm going to update this vmware tools how to do that click on update manager i need to attach the baseline click on attach i can attach baselines individual uh, yes, VM or what I can do, I can attach baseline at the cluster level or data center level, right? Do that first. Click cancel here. No need to add individual uh, VM baselines. Okay, go to uh, select a data center. Attach here. Baselines. Select VMware tools, upgrade baseline, VMware hardware, upgrade baseline, both select that. What is upgrade hardware? We know that is related to VM version. VMware tools is nothing but a driver upgrade. I'm attaching these two baselines for the VMs. For VMs, what is available baselines? VM tools baseline and VM version baseline. Two baselines are available. Click and attach. I'm going to attach is done. Now select that respect to VM. Now scan. What is that virtual appliance upgrade? So what I'm going to do here, scan. Which one I need to select? I need to select tools baseline and upgrade baseline for vm harshan both the things i need to select vm tools upgrade and these two things click scan see here what is compatible hardware version is up to date available tools but tools are lowest version is available i can perform tools remediation select remediate okay tools upgrade uh, which one is selected i need to choose tools upgrade right select tools yes next next immediate all or immediate not schedule next what it is going to take it is going to create a snapshot on this vm before performing update on vm by tools it is going to create a snapshot okay click next finish if vmware tools upgrade is not successful what we can do we can revert the snapshot okay now it is performing vmware tools update on this particular vm okay after that how it is going to show we'll come back okay what is it showing the server is trying to access sysprep setting of vm desktop one is sysprep is not executing okay try to power on this vm and see what is the error generally if you power on this tools where it is going to update the drivers it is going to update let's see power on see it is powering on or not because it is a virtual esxl host uh, i'm not sure it's going to allow to power on or not let's see wait it's already initiated let's wait
Okay, open console. Okay, close it. Click close. We are not in a position to connect. Uh, have you added the DNS entry for this ESXR host in host file? Lab ESXS3, go to host file. This is a DNS issue. If the host type uh, name is not going to resolve, you are not in a position to connect console. Go to a local host file. Run as administrator. Select a test file. No, 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 wait, 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 wait. Go back. Uh, below, change the file, all files, yes. Open the host file. Add this uh, lab three and lab four. Copy paste the top one. Change the IP. Change the file, save the file. Now try to connect console. Close that and open new window. Okay, try to ping the IP address. Close this console and try to upgrade VMI tools. Again, execute this. Remediate, click on remediate. Tools upgrade, select tools upgrade, click next. 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 Finish. Let it complete. We will come back. Uh, go to host and clusters and see what is the status of that ESXR host. ESXR host update baseline. See, tools upgrade is going on to 44% completed. This is a way how to update the VMware tools and VM version by using update manager. We can select all VMs within a cluster, within a data center. We can perform this tools update at the bundle at the all VMs, available VMs at one shot.
depends upon availability downtime availability what it is going to do it is going to restart the vm after updating the vmware tools on windows boxes okay go to ping open ping command try to execute continuous ping for this particular vm and see it will it will, it will go to reboot after right after the installation of vmware tools update okay go to come uh, come back to the uh, summary page of this vm okay currently it is running out of date we'll see after completion of this installation how it is going to show the vmware tools it is it is going to show as a current version it will install the vmware tools on this particular vm and then it will show as a current version Meanwhile, check that ESXi host is patch is completed or not upgrade baseline. See that ESXi host core, what is the baseline available? Previously it is 5.5, now it is 6.0. Now upgrade is successful. After upgrade, what I need to do? I need to make sure patch is installed or not. What is this build number? 5050. What is the build, uh, latest build number? It is 155. So there are patches pending. I need to do the patching. How to perform patching? Simply baselines are attached. What I need to do? Scan against this ESXi host. In this situation, what I'm going to do? I'm going to put that ESXi host manually into maintenance mode. How to do that? Right click on the ESXi host. Enter maintenance mode. Enter maintenance mode. What option it is going to come into picture? Let's click on enter maintenance mode. It is going to show whatever the VMs are there, even powered off VMs also migrate from this ESXi host to another ESXi host within a cluster. Okay. This is the option is going to showcase. If you don't want to power off VMs to migrate, that is fine. But without migrating power on VMs, this ESXi host is not in a position to perform. We'll see that how to perform this. Click no. Okay, I'm going to place one VM on this particular ESXi host. Go to configuration. Add storage. Go to storage adapter. SCSI adapter. Add the SCSI adapter. Configure the SCSI adapter, add the SCSI target server. Dynamic discovery. Add the IP address. Rescan, it will rescan as soon as you assign IP address, it will rescan. Click close. Yes. Let's see adapters are coming or not. Devices are coming back. Just a moment. Let it complete and device visibility is there or not, we'll see. Devices are visible, that's good. Now go back to storage. Is the data stores visible or not? Let's see. Yes, cool. Now what I'm going to do is, I'm going to migrate the VM, one of the VM, desktop three. Check that desktop three is in shared storage or a local data store. Okay, shared storage. Okay, migrate. Go ahead and migrate this VM from this particular where this ESXi host. Select summary. Select summary. Desktop 3, select summary. It is there on ESXi host 2. I'm migrating this desktop 3 to desktop ESX 4. Right click and migrate. Ok, 
change host yes select select yes yes host 4 yes virtual machine request for cpus to operate but the host hardware only provides two okay that yes host is having having only two cpu that's the reason it is not able to migrate what i'm going to do is i'm going to reduce the cpu setting on the desktop 3 cancel here Edit settings, change the CPU setting to 1. One to one. There's a memory also 4 GB. Make 4 GB with memory also. Why 8 GB? 2 GB is also fine. To make it 2 GB. Okay, click OK. Migrate this desktop 3 VM from Current place to desk so ESX4. Wait, let it complete. Okay, complete it. Right click again. Change host. Okay, next. Finish. Now this VM is there on ESX4. Now I'm going to put that ESX host in maintenance mode. What it is going to perform is, as soon as I select maintenance mode, what is the option it is going to put over here? Go to production, select production cluster. Where is the desktop 3 VM is there and ESX4 is there. Now I'm going to right click and put the ESX4 in maintenance mode. What it is going to do by putting into maintenance mode, it is going to migrate what are the VMs are there onto another ESX host. Right click on ESX host and put into maintenance mode. Enter into maintenance mode. Yes. What it is going to do, it is going to migrate all VMs. Okay. Don't don't click on OK, click no. Click no here. Select production cluster. In this place, just right click on the ESX4. Don't select ESX4. Right click on ESX4. Just we want to see uh, what is happening. This desktop 3 is. Don't select. Just right click. Go back to production cluster. OK. OK. Now select right click only, don't select the ESX host, right click, just right click on ESX4. Just right click on ESX4. Yeah. No, not here. Cancel here. Okay. Now desktop 3 is showing ESX4 placement. What I'm going to do is I'm going to keep that ESX4 in maintenance mode. Right click on ESX4. Don't select. Right click on ESX4. Here, here. Under inventory. Right click on ES4. Don't select. Yeah. Right click. Just right click. Yes. Enter into maintenance mode. By doing this enter into maintenance mode, what it is going to do? It is going to migrate all the EVMs in the power on VMs or power off VMs. Select enter maintenance mode. Say yes, click yes. Now currently desktop 3 is residing at ESX4. It is going to migrate this ESX desktop 3 from ESX4 to another cluster within this place. See where it is migrated? It is migrated to ESX3 from 4 to 3. See that ESX host enter into maintenance mode. Right click on ESX4 again. See previously enter into maintenance mode, now into exit maintenance mode. Now this ESX host is now ready to proceed for the patching activity. If you are going to do patching activity for individual ESXR host, you need to put that ESXR host in maintenance mode. 
if you are not going to put the TSX host in maintenance mode, the update manager is going to do the same action by try to migrate the VMs to another ESX host and put the TSX host in maintenance mode, and then it is going to perform the patching activity. Okay, that is a sequence. Now, what I'm going to do, I'm going to perform a ESX host patching. Go to update manager. Select ESX4 now. Select ESX4. Here, in the under, under inventory. Select ESX4 and choose update manager. Select, select. Update manager, scan. Now what I need to scan, scan against watch baselines. I need to scan against patch baselines. Select scan, select patches. Yes, click scan. I'm going to update this patch, this ESX host to latest version available. Latest patches all, I'm going to install all latest patches available from the patch repository and I'm going to install by using update manager. Okay, scan how many patches are pending. Let's proceed with remediate. Patch baselines, yes, next. Leave the default settings and proceed with next, next. Yes. Finish. Let it complete and check the desktop one where we are. Desktop one is completed. Desktop one VMware tools is updated or not. See? It is successfully completed through update manager. The tools upgraded for current version to latest version. Okay. This is the way how we are going to perform update manager by using update manager. We can perform VMware tools update. We can perform VM version upgrade. We can perform ESX host patches updates and we can perform host upgrade from load version to higher version. Okay. This is a better use of update manager. Easiest and efficient manner we can update the environment to the latest versions by using this update manager. Very cool feature, very easiest procedure to perform updates on each object of the inventory. Okay. Let it complete this ESX host patch updates so that the update manager, how to perform update manager and everything we noticed. Okay. Meanwhile, the uh, does uh, shut down the desktop one and reduce the VMs and the power ups. Download, uh, shut down the desktop one. Directly power off. Yes. Power off. Reduce the uh, capacity from uh, two GP to to uh, one CPU. Two GP RAM and one CPU. Yes, click OK. What I'm going to do is I'm going to power on both the desktop one and desktop three. OK, and I'm going to showcase how to put the maintenance mode, how the VMs are going to migrate from lab power on during the migration. If you put the TSX host in maintenance mode for maintenance purpose, how to enable how the VMs are going to migrate. Let's see that. OK. Power on both the desktop one and desktop three. Here's the desktop one. Desktop three is VMware tools up to date. 
select desktop 3 and see because definitely it will show as a lower version because okay now what i'm going to do is even i'm going to perform update on this esx vm to latest version before doing that power on this vm What I'm going to do is two things. One is during the ESXi host into maintenance mode is that power on VMs are migrating to destination host or not. Okay. Let's do that. Check that desktop one is pinging or desktop three is pinging, getting ping responses. Is the desktop one that is still host not reachable? Okay. Okay. It's getting response. That's fine. Check the desktop three IP address. Ping, ping. <sighs> what is that? IP not sure what is IP. Okay, I'm getting 11 IP. Okay, perfect. Okay, now what we are going to do is see that ESXi host 4 is complete or not. Patching is completed or not? Still, it's going on. Let's see what is the status. Go to task and events. What is the status? Let's see. Go to task and events. Oh, it's completed. It's perfectly completed and update manager is completed. Then go to task and events. What is the remediate job? Installation host reboot completed. Remediate entry is completed. Everything is completed. Now check the build version. The ESXi host for build version, it is changed to latest version. That is one double five. Okay, now the ESXi host is updated with the latest version. All patches are installed. So now I need to remove maintenance mode. How to remove maintenance mode? Right click on the ESXi host, exit maintenance mode. Now ESX4 is ready, ESX3 is ready. What I'm going to do is, I'm going to put the ESX3 in maintenance mode. What are the VMs are there in ESX3? Select ESX3, go to virtualization tab. These two VMs are there in this particular ESX host. Now I'm going to put that ESX host in maintenance mode. And now vMotion is going to come into picture and to migrate these two VMs from, make sure the vMotion network is enabled for these two ESXi hosts. Go to configuration and check vMotion is enabled. Networking, properties, management network, Select management network. VMotion is disabled. Click close here and see migration option is coming or not because we are not going to get a migration option because this VM, I cannot get migrate option. Right click desktop, migrate. Because without enabling VMotion, live servers cannot be migrated. See here. Change host is disabled, grayed out. Now what I need to do to migrate the VMs, vMotion to work, what are the prerequests? We need to refer previous session. Prerequest is shared storage. Both VMs are on shared storage, that is not an issue, but vMotion network is not enabled on the source and destination ESX host. So I need to enable that. Click cancel. Enable vMotion network on both the network, both ESXi host. Close here, close. Enable both ESXi host and vMotion network. Okay. 
properties select management network edit enable v motion close select esxl4 configuration properties enable v motion network Yes. Now, I'm, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put that ESXR host in maintenance mode. Let's see what are the VMs are available on ESXR host 3 will be migrated or not. Okay, select ESXR host 3. Choose virtual machine tab. Two VMs are there here. Okay, one is 10, one is 11. Both are in continuation ping. I need to make sure when, as soon as I enter maintenance mode for patching activity or anything, during update manager also, update manager is trying to put a host in maintenance mode. During that time also, the VMs will migrate from this particular ESX host to another ESX host within the cluster. Okay, now I'm doing the manual action. I'm just going to put that ESX host in maintenance mode. Let's see what is going to happen. Put that ESX host in maintenance mode. Right click, enter into maintenance mode. What it is going to showcase here, it is going to migrate all VMs, power on VMs, along with powered off VMs as well. Okay, click yes. Click OK. So as soon as you enter, As soon as I enter maintenance mode, it will migrate the VMs, okay, to another ESXR host. Hello. It is not migrating the because of source resources issue or something. You will do manual migration. Right click on the VM. Desktop one VM. Desktop one VM. Migrate. Generally, if the cluster has a sufficient resources, it will migrate automatically. Okay. Change host. Select ESX4. Wait, okay, next. Finish. Do that uh, other VM also as well. And do the continuous ping test. This is a V motion is happening, live V motion, live migration. Live migration is nothing but V motion. Check the continuous ping request. Already desktop one is migrated. Desktop three monitor desktop three. Is it continuous ping is happening or not? Iphone three, yes. So this is a V motion compatibility even during the update manager installation. If the cluster has a sufficient resources, it will migrate the VMs, okay? Now, once it is migrated, what we are going to do is, this particular desktop three is running with VMware, VMware tools version is out of date, okay? What we are going to do, we are going to use update manager to update the desktop three VMware tools to latest version. What we need to do, to do that, we need to change the template of inventory option to VM and templates. Otherwise, I'm not going to get select up desktop and choose the update manager option here, here itself. 
we are in desktop 3 choose update manager see it is showing we need to perform this update manager we need to change the inventory option to vm and templates then only i can perform update manager option for the vms only under vm and templates option only okay that's the reason we need to change to vm and templates change to vm and templates inventory option and go to this particular desktop and scan against vm tools and vm version and perform the update okay scan against scan scan against what vm by tools and vm tools upgrade okay scan the vm version is up to date no need to update vm version so i need to update only vm by tools go and remedy it Select VMware Tools Upgrade. Next, in Web Client, there's a cool feature. We can update both the things at the same time. It is going to check VM version first and then our VMware Tools Update. Okay, click Next. Once the tool is upgraded, we are going to delete the snapshot. If everything is working fine, we need to delete the snapshot. Click Finish go to desktop one let it complete desktop one really delete the snapshot if you revert the snapshot what will happen previous state it will go to previous state without snapshot uh, whatever the tools are there it will go to previous state of the snapshot so we successfully completed tools in the sense we need to delete okay select delete all okay this is a way we are going to use the update manager in a production environment. Okay. Okay, take care. Bye.